Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to correctly label a diagram of a plant cell. You should then be able to describe the functions of the different parts of a plant cell. In the last video we looked at animal cells and we saw that they contain these structures. We've got the nucleus, the cytoplasm, the cell membrane, mitochondria and ribosomes. Now in this video we're looking at plant cells. Remember that unlike animals, plants can use light to carry out photosynthesis. I'm showing you plant cells under a microscope here. Now the first thing to notice is that plant cells have a regular shape, unlike animal cells which can easily change their shape. The second obvious feature is that plant cells are packed full of green structures, and we're going to find out more about those later in this video. Now it's actually quite hard to see much more detail in a picture of plant cells like this one. So I'm showing you here a simplified drawing of a plant cell. You might see a drawing like this in your exam. Now plant cells have several structures in common with animal cells. You can see that we have a nucleus which contains genetic material. As we said in a previous video, plants are eukaryotes. We also have a cytoplasm where chemical reactions take place and a cell membrane which controls which molecules enter and leave the cell. Finally, we've got mitochondria which carry out aerobic respiration and ribosomes, which are the site of protein synthesis. Now, plant cells have three structures which animal cells do not, and it's really important that you learn these. As we saw before, plant cells are packed full of green structures, and these are called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts contain chlorophyll and are the sites of photosynthesis. We'll be looking at photosynthesis in much more detail in later videos. Plant cells are surrounded by a cell wall. And the cell wall is made from a chemical called cellulose, and this strengthens the cell. I'm showing you here a picture of cells from an algae. Algae are a very simple form of plant life, and you can see that they've also got a cellulose cell wall. Finally, plant cells also contain a large permanent vacuole. The vacuole is filled with a fluid called cell sap. Because it's packed full of fluid, the vacuole helps give the plant cell its shape. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on plant cells in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to correctly label a diagram of a plant cell. You should then be able to describe the functions of the different parts of a plant cell. Mm -hmm. 